Flex Light wants to know, does your fan suck? What we mean is, does it pull enough air through the radiator to keep your engine cool, and is it pulling it the right direction? Now that last part might sound a little bit funny, but when you first install a set of electric fans on your car, turn them on, there's a lot of airflow, and it can be difficult to tell whether it's pulling the air the right way through the radiator. So this is a simple test to help you with that. All you need is a catalog or a piece of paper, 8.5 by 11 or so. Turn on your electric fans, place the paper in front of the radiator, and see if it stays there. It should stay exactly where you place it. it shouldn't move around. When you turn the electric fan off, it should fall away. You want to make sure that your hands are clear of the fan blades, whether it's an electric fan or a belt-driven fan, before you do this test. Now, as far as airflow, this isn't going to be scientific to tell you if you've really got enough airflow, but it will alert you if you've got a problem. If your fan won't keep that piece of paper against the radiator, it's not going to create enough airflow to keep your car cool when you're idling or going in slow traffic like a cruise or something like that. So that's a problem you're going to have to look into. Now, a couple of things that might cause that kind of problem is if your radiator is too thick, if it's an old four-core style radiator, that's really restrictive and it's hard for a fan to do its job of pulling the air through the radiator. If you have a belt-driven fan, you might not have a fan shroud on it or it might not be properly located or adequately sealing, doing its job. If it won't, then it's going to pull air over the radiator and under the radiator, but not through it. That's not going to help you. If it's an electric fan, you might not have it sized properly. Now, if you've done all of those checks and you still have some problems, we have some other resources at flexalight.com to help you figure out how to choose the proper fan or radiator or both for your vehicle.